So here to break all of that down and a whole lot more. Let's welcome in CEO of Geltrude Technology Solutions, Michael Geltrude. Michael, good morning. Okay, so well, inflation has been a constant stumbling block for the Biden administration right now sitting at 3.3%, while down from the height of a whopping 9.1% that we saw in June of 2022. It's more than double what it was when he took office, even if he does not want to admit that. Uh, Michael, what do you expect to see from this report? I think over the last year, inflation has really been a stubborn thing. No matter what's been done, inflation continues to go up. And I really expect to see more of the same here with the report. Maybe inflation isn't going to go up as much as it has in the past, but it's still going up. And that's really the thing here. The Fed over the past year has been so focused on hitting their rates and numbers. And now all of a the sudden they're changing their mindset from, well, the number doesn't matter as long as we're trending positively. I think it being an election year really weighs heavily on this. Mm -hmm. So let's wait and see what happens with the report. Yeah, I feel like we talk about this every single week. They want that targeted 2%. Oh, I don't think they're going to get there. Uh, okay, so move on a little bit. Microsoft announcing it will give up its observer seat on OpenAI's board amid scrutiny from global regulators. Apple has also announced it will not take a seat on the board over the concerns of big tech's hand in AI startups. Michael, how do you think Microsoft's withdrawal will affect the company moving forward? Well, first of all, let's just talk here for one quick second. An observer seat? I don't even know what that really means, <laughs> and I don't think they do either. I think uh, Microsoft and, and OpenAI are really so intertwined in every aspect, it's hard to separate the two. Mm. You have Sam Altman, who was the CEO of OpenAI, who got ousted and then goes to work for Microsoft and then goes back to work for OpenAI. They're so intertwined here. Mm -hmm. This is really just an optics play, and they're trying to make themselves feel a little bit more independent. Isn't that how it always is? It's always about just the optics. Uh, so let's stick with tech for a second, Michael. Samsung seeing its largest union in South Korea go on strike. So the union now demanding higher pay and an additional pay day off. Uh, they're saying it will continue its walkout indefinitely. Michael, do you think Samsung will eventually just cave in to their demands? Yeah, I really think that they have to here. They don't have much of a choice. The union makes up about a quarter of their workforce in South Korea. And right now they're in the they're in a space race for the future of AI. So much of their chips and technology is really driving the future. And I think they're going to have to concede here because without that, they're going to fall behind in this race and they know it. Yeah, I mean, the amount of walkouts that we've seen here stateside just within the last year has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, finally, Costco, ah, they're even seeing the side effects of high prices. Now, they are raising their membership fees for the first time since 2017. Now, the wholesale store, famed for sticking with those low prices, saying it will raise membership fees in September by $5 and higher tier fees by $10. Michael, do you think the price hike will be enough for the company to stay in business? What really what do you make of this move? Because, again, they've been all about keeping these low prices, especially with their hot dog saying we will never change that price. What do you make of this? Yeah, I think that a price increase is <clears throat> probably long overdue here. Mm. They haven't raised their prices since 2017, as you mentioned, and I think you'd find it pretty hard to find anything that hasn't had a price increase since 2017. I know they're really trying to hold strong here, but they feel that it's valuable for their business. Ultimately, I think their customers view their membership as an investment, not an expense. They know that they may have to pay five or ten dollars more a year but on the back end they really are saving and as you said if they start raising the price of the hot dog then we re really have big problems yeah definitely but i i just find this so interesting and it's so indicative of how the Biden administration's economy is right now you have a company that has not raised their prices prices since 2017 and now they basically have no choice in this economy but to raise their prices just to stay afloat it, uh, I don't know, is it a canary in the coal mine situation? I don't know, but it is. Uh, it says a lot that Costco is now doing this. Michael Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure having you on. Thank you.